with a lot of things in my garden, I have a rule of thumb of no bad leaves. And so I'm going to want to pinch this bad leaf out. And I see that the stem here is looking a little rough. You can always hill up your squash plants. Just give a little more soil around the base will help them. And I see that this, whatever's going on there, I'm just going to pinch that out too. And that blob, get that out. And wait for this zucchini to get a little bigger. And looking for any other problems in here. Um, I get a lot of questions about this pattern on zucchini leaves, especially on green zucchinis. Um, this silvery pattern here is how they are meant to look. A lot of times it gets confused with powdery mildew, which is uh, a mildew. <laughs> um, and um, the mildew will be all over the leaf. And when it is um, meant to look like that, it's just right along all the, the veins of the plant. And it's always con kind of stops and ends by a vein where powder powdery mildew will be a splotch all over the plant. With dead plant material like this that has had some pest problems, you don't want to put that in your compost. And if you have the option of feeding it to chickens, it is great. Um, there's also a goat that lives here. Um, the chickens will eat the insects right off of there and some of the greens and they'll take care of that problem for you. Here looking at my summer squash, I see this one formed with um, its blossom end rot. It's usually from a calcium deficiency as well as pests. Sometimes if you pick the blossom off, it can prevent that from happening. And when you see this, you definitely want to get that one out. And again, not you don't want to compost it, um, feed it to the chickens or put it in the garbage or chuck it in the woods away from your gardening area. Some more squash bug eggs. <clears throat> it's peppery and they're, they're pretty glued on there. So sometimes taking a piece of duct tape and sticking them on there or if you don't have it, um, just trying to scrape them off. Um, really smush them. Been doing this for a decade, so gotten used to just doing it with my bare fingers, but having your gardening gloves around definitely helps. A couple of adult squash bugs, creating more squash bugs. Gotta squish them. Here are some of our potato cages. And oh, I see somebody crawling around in there. And they fly. These little orange ish bugs with black stripes. Oh, and then the dreaded potato beetle there. So we just want to squish them. And then also check the underside of leaves for any sign of eggs. Control them early and often. Oh, Japanese beetle. I see here that something is going to town on the husk cherry, so I want to find out what that is. So I'm going to look under the leaves, and here I see um, the eggs turning into larva state. Oh, there's more eggs there. The best control is manual control and just going along and turning over every single leaf and looking for, oh, there they are in their larva state. Um, it's cucumber beetle or three line bug. Um, let's see if I can see one, but definitely want to squish those guys out. I could tell there was something going on there by how chewed up that leaf is. I'm gonna squish them. 